program proudly brought to you by 1HD and Panasonic, both proud sponsors of Jessica Watson. This Australian teenager is about to sail onto one of the world's great stages. There is no better place for a grand adventure to be acknowledged, a young achiever to celebrate. Sydney Harbour is a symbol of Australia's maritime history, and this is history in the making. We all dream of impossible things. Very few of us wake up and achieve them. For reasons even she can't explain, one 16-year-old decided that one day she wanted to sail around the world. Today, she will finish the job. 23,000 nautical miles, marked by coordinates on a map, days on a calendar. We've watched and waited, enthralled by this unprecedented duel with the unknown. No level of preparation makes you ready. Nature gives no guarantees. You can only try to open your mind to welcome any secrets the ocean offers along the way the perils it throws, the wonders it reveals. Jessica Watson has found, in the shallow years of youth, a depth of courage and character to cope with it all. Now, she's home. Welcome to the Opera House in Sydney, and what a welcoming committee this is. Kath Robinson joins me. Outstanding performance from the people of Sydney and from further beyond, I expect. Outstanding indeed, and it's with great pride that Australians welcome Jessica Watson home. And this morning we've been seeing them stream in down here to the Opera House forecourt. And it, it's truly testament to how much we've gotten behind this tenacious young teenager who, who would have thought seven months ago she was an ordinary girl from the Sunshine Coast with a pretty big dream, but today she is any but ordinary, sailing into the imaginations of all Australians. They've come in cars, buses, trains, bikes, and of course on foot they're taking up vantage points around the foreshore and we can tell you at this point that they have a little bit of a longer wait than we anticipated. Uh, as luck would have it, Jessica is running a little bit late as she uh, heads towards the harbour, but that's the way it is. This was always a journey from the unknown into the well-known, so to speak, and we'll have to wait just a little bit longer for that to happen. Part of the reason is the kind of conditions Jessica has been facing since she reached Australian waters. She had a big kick in the backside around Tasmania, but even up the coast of New South Wales, it's been difficult. Look at this shot, Kath. This shot yesterday, Mother Nature has thrown everything at her through this, this voyage of seven months, and here you can see her boat's almost airborne. She was struck by very strong winds, uh, 45 knots in some, some cases, and very strong swells, 10 metres in some instances. You can see very little sail up there and uh, Jess has tried as best she could to time this thing. She would have been running and reaching up the coast. There was a strong southwester helping her do that. She's actually overshot the runway a little bit. She's now beating her way back down towards the harbour and that is why she is struggling a little bit to make it on time. But that's OK. I think after seven months we can wait a little longer. <laughs> that's the weather forecast. I mentioned those southwesterly winds. It's calmed down a little bit around the harbour. Of course, it's fluky in some places. It'll vary. She wants to be uh, motoring in and being very calm and collected when she gets to the business end of this thing. And people everywhere are now pouring onto spots, much like you would see for the start of a Sydney Hobart yacht race. So it's virtually impossible to gauge just how many people are around the foreshores. But, Kath, they all have their favourite spots to go to for events like this. Look, they do indeed. And you'd almost be forgiven for thinking this could be the, the lead-up to a Sydney to Hobart with all the, the small boating craft out there. It's a, it's a very different scene to the stage that was set when she left all those months ago. I think she was followed out by a flotilla of maybe 30 or so small vessels and craft. Today will be a very, very different stage indeed. And we have someone out there, our very own Hugh Rimmington, on the waters to see how it's all looking. 